water sign cancer welcome back to the channel it's me antonio here with another general tarot card message for you today we're going to be seeing what the universe has in store in regards to your career and love what's next for you we're using the golden universal tarot to get some messages from spirit through the cardomanti make sure you come in liking subscribing adding value to the channel so that we continue to grow and so that i can put out more of these messages for you guys cross watchers welcome as well get into your reading here cancer what's the message for you today what's next in career and love for you all right hopefully you're having a good day so far manifesting safely grounding your message today cancer we have temperance the earth angel celebrity sort of balance equal give and take in regards to career and love for you here this could be something that you're currently involved in here you possibly a therapist possibly a bartender maybe a dj you're very balanced here good work and home life balance hopefully a nurturer mm with grounding and reading the temperance. I'm not sure if you are a teacher, some sort of a daycare attendant, possibly into music, maybe art, you're a painter. Dancing as well, Ace of Cups. Intuition, someone's coming towards you with love here. Well, this could be you offering advice in regards to uh, love advances or how people should uh, carry themselves in love relationships, right? This would be a therapist. This is a sexual conquest as well. How you should approach someone, right? Very creative though. Very passionate. Very artsy, right? Again, a chip on the old shoulder. The microphone or the male phallus here sexual conquest someone's extremely attracted to you here they see you as marriage material here the hierophant a professional or this is the industry or business that you're uh, currently involved in possibly you're very religious or dealing with very religious people right sometimes people need uh, that extra advice either they're spiritual or they're religious right and they're conflicted about what they should do for a job or what they should do in regards to love here this is marriage yeah, Three of Cups, celebrations, partying, people wanting to come towards you, or you're offering advice uh, on how to network, right? How to carry yourselves in different situations. The King of Swords coming out. Some sort of a, yeah, poet, or you're writing a book or some or something like that. You're lecturing, lecturing people when it comes to love, it comes right on top of the Queen of Cups. Yeah, divine masculine here. Showing people what true love is here. It could be some sort of a... Hmm. Definitely a leader. Definitely a business owner here. This is uh, Aries energy. So you're probably very attractive or you deal with a lot of very attractive people. Love is not hard for you to find or love is not hard for you to discern here. It's just being picky. Yeah, she doesn't say much, right? She watches people. She discerns people, right? This is also some sort of a spiritual awakening some sort of a mental journey. Again, you're a teacher here, teaching people about sex. This could be sex ed. So maybe you're a teacher uh, for love and career for you. You're going into some sort of a sex explanation <laughs> or something like that. Uh, just like the, the previous reading with Gemini, this could be dirty talk if this is not uh, human growth and development or sex ed or something like that. Definitely getting heavy teacher vibes. We actually have the twin flame union. So you could be some sort of a twin flame reader or some sort of a clairvoyant, possibly psychic, or have a very, um, a very grounded, a stable essence about yourself. People see you as some sort of a teacher or a leader here. You do have the divine uh, masculine and the emperor showing up. Aries, strong fire sign energy. So a lot of creativity, a lot of passion, a lot of excitement, a lot of adventures. This could be taking someone on a romantic journey with your words, with your intuition, with your knowledge, right? Or this could be physically, right? Literally taking people out on romantic excursions. It reminds me of that old show in the, in the 90s or the early 2000s, Blind Date. But yeah, this is someone taking a leap of faith. He's facing the, uh, he's facing the Hierophant. So someone's ready to take a leap of faith into marriage here. 
So you could be some sort of a couple's counselor, couple's therapist, right? Giving people advice before they seek the sanctity of marriage. Death. Yeah. A psychiatrist or a psychologist, right? Getting uh, the negativity out, right? Having a daily uh, detox or something like that. If you're not literally dealing with the death, um, this could be overconsumption as well. Mm -hmm. Again, teaching people how to um, how to how to act in relationships, right? Someone here has a drinking problem, or someone here has a sex addiction. Oof, yes. The Divine Feminine showing up. So isn't that something? On top of the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So we have Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Emperor and Empress. Right? In the 3D plane. And then even in the etherical plane, right? Divine Feminine. Um, sorry, the High Priestess and the Hierophant. So this is a twin flame, a soulmate connection here for you. You're some sort of a wise counselor, some sort of a wise teacher. You're going to be able to help people develop uh, romantic relationships here. Right? Offering your services here with the Ace of Cups, right? Helping people script and document their life, right? A way to help couples get over things is not necessarily always taking them on a couple's retreat. Teach them how to document the things that they're saying. Just like how people, when they wanna go on a financial journey or have some sort of financial renaissance, a financial planner would tell them, hey, write down everything that you're spending your money on. If people are having relationships, even if they're not having relationships and they just want to better their relationships, right? They have to create some sort of itinerary is what you're advising them to do, right? Little small dates and things like that, right? How to express themselves, right? Um, love language. The Ace of Cups. Tantric sex and all that sort of thing. People want to experience something new here. Let's see what else we're getting. Ace of Pentacles. Now you do know your health is your wealth, but this is commitment. So again, you're dealing with marriage here. Again, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Empress, Emperor. And then we have the High Priestess and the Hierophant. Yeah. This is also a windfall. Maybe someone is starting some sort of a new business here. All right. The Ace of Cups. Definitely love and marriage coming to you or a situation here. Not sure if you're a witness or this is what's going on around you. Again, we can only give advice on the things that we've experienced or things. Uh, when it comes to experience, it doesn't necessarily have to be something that we experience directly, right? One of the things that I pride myself on is learning things from people that have already done it here, right? So that's like, hey, a woman knowing what an actual man is because she's had her father in her life and she didn't grow up with a single mother household. So she was able to see what a man is. So she has a perception of what a man looks like so she can recognize one as he walks past. This could be something that you're teaching someone, right? The value of family, the value of perception. Now we have something interesting going on here. We have the lovers, soulmates, definitely twin flame union. Someone's ready to settle down here. Possibly, I'm not saying that they need your help, right? But everything's not perfect here. We even have the thunder coming in here. Someone wants to take you out on a date here, right? They're wanting to jump head first into the situation here. They're actually both looking at the lovers. Which used to be in a tarot, it used to be choice before it became the lovers. It was the yes or no card. Yes or no when it comes to asking questions about relationships and marriage. Now we have expansive opportunities, right? Now we have people that have been through th enough things in history in order to give us advice on them. Very interesting message for you here, Cancer. Six of Pentacles. There's no positive. There's no negativity here in this reading, other than the Death card, which would be, uh, I'm guessing, uh, again, sex addiction, possibly drinking, a drinking addiction. Uh explaining spending addictions and how that affects the relationship as well to cu to couples right six of pentacles though this is grace a martyr mm -hmm. celebrations and donations right in equal give and take now we have some interesting majors <laughs> we have scorpio right secrets occultism sexuality we have aries the groundbreaker not afraid to take a leap of faith and experience something new adventures this could be sexual curiosity and adventures we have Gemini and the Lovers.
strong communication. Communication is key. We have the Hierophant and the High Priestess, Twin Flames, Guardianship, holding relationship and possibly even your work life as well because the Hierophant is Taurus, very hard working, right? Business, something to stabilize yourself. And then we have, of course, the real divine masculine, divine feminine, Empress and Emperor, Aries, Gemini, I'm sorry, Aries, Libra, and um, Taurus. Really? Doesn't necessarily have to be your sign. It just could be this, the way that someone is viewing you or the people that you're dealing with. Maybe some sort of a, of a celebrity counselor. Right? Dealing with people that are equally yoked. Passion coming from this direction. Love coming from this direction. And then, of course, we have the 1111. Marriage. Again, some sort of a couple's counseling here or uh helping people link up here almost almost like that app right we let um these apps dating apps pair us up but someone actually has a talent here to pair people up mm -hmm. this would be like a kevin samuels type or uh what is her name kendra g type or something like that mm -hmm. maybe you're on social media or you have some sort of a worldwide presence right some sort of a knowledge, right? Not like a high schooler, but someone that's, that's actually more experienced. That either has already had children, right? Or something like that, or has already developed some sort of a, a successful business. And they're able to disseminate how to move in relationships and monies to people. Right? But that's what I have today, Cancer. Very interesting reading. The most powerful one so far yet. We have the twin flame showing up again. You're possibly a twin flame coach, a soulmate coach, a relationship coach, right? Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.